Hi everyone, this is Spring, the Fiber Enthusiast, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a stitch tutorial. It is a crocheted stitch tutorial, and it will be on the thistle stitch. It is a very easy pattern, a very easy repeat. Um, the main thing you need to know that you need to start in multiples of seven plus four if you are working from a base chain. So I am going to go ahead and chain 21 for my multiples of seven and then plus four. So a total of 25 chains. I will be using my handy dandy 5.5 millimeter hook from Hobby Lobby from a long time ago and a ball of random worsted weight acrylic. The same as I have used in this sample here. So I'm going to go ahead and place a slip knot on my hook and chain my 25 chains. Once you have your chain of 25, you're going to work a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. So counting back, I like to use the back side of my chain using those bumps. And I'm going to zoom in for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. That is where I'm going to place my double crochet. There we go. Now we're just simply going to skip to, so skipping one and two, and into this third stitch, you're gonna place five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Now all of that went into that same stitch. So now we have all five of those double crochets into the same stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna skip over the next two, one and two, and into the next, we're gonna place a double crochet and one double crochet into the next stitch. Now you're gonna skip over two. So one and two. And into the third, we're gonna do five double crochets once again. So one, two, three, four, and five. All into that same chain. Now we're gonna skip over one, two, and place one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. We are on repeat. You're going to skip two, one, two, and into the next you are going to place five double crochets. Two, three, four, and 
one five. And again, we're gonna skip over the next one and two. And into the last two chains, you're gonna place one double crochet in each of those last two chain stitches. So one and two. So here we have our two at the beginning from our skipped chains and then our double crochet. Then we have our, our five double crochets into the same stitch. Then we skip our two stitches one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then we repeat, skip two stitches, five double crochets into the next, so on and so forth. And then we finish up with two double crochets at the very end. Now you're gonna chain three and turn your work, one, two, and three. And that chain three counts as a double crochet. Okay, so once you have your chain three, we're gonna place two more double crochets into that same stitch. So that very first stitch, two more double crochets. So you now have a total of three, including your chain three. Now we're gonna skip over our next double crochet and the next double crochet, and the next double crochet. So we're skipping three stitches, one, two, and three. Between that third stitch and your fourth stitch, in between, you're gonna work one double crochet. So we're going in between those double crochets. Now you're gonna skip the next double crochet and in between it and the following one, you're gonna work a double crochet. And we'll take a step back and look at what, what we're working with here. So remember we had our five double crochets. We had one, two, three, four, and five. So what you're doing is you're placing one double crochet after the first two and one double crochet before the last two. So one on each side of that middle double crochet of those five. Now we're gonna do five double crochets. We're gonna reach over and remember those two double crochets that we worked kind of by themselves in between the groups of five. That's where we're working our are five double crochets right in between them. So you're gonna skip over the last two double crochets of that group of five, and you're gonna skip your first double crochet of those two, and in between work five double crochets. So we're working in between stitches now. Two, three, four, and five. And now we're just gonna repeat. We're gonna skip over our next double crochet. And then we're here to our group of five. We're gonna skip the first two. And in between that second one and the third one, we're going to work a double crochet working in between. I'm gonna jump over that next double crochet and work a double crochet in between it and the following one. And that's our setup for our next row where we're gonna put our next group of five double crochets. Because you see we're going between those two standalone double crochets. 
So let's go ahead and place five double crochets in between the next group of two double crochets. So skip over the last two of your five and then come over here to the two standalone and five double crochets in between those two double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, so now we're gonna do our last little bit here. We're gonna skip over the next double crochet. We're gonna skip the first two double crochets of the last group of five and double crochet between the second and third double crochet of those five. Then you're gonna skip the third one and between the third and the fourth, place a double crochet. Now we're gonna skip over Let you look at that for a second. Here's our group of five in between those two double crochets. Then we skip, 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 double crochet, skip, double crochet, and now we're gonna skip, skip, and skip, and into the top of your chain three, you're going, you're turning chain down here. We're gonna place three double crochets. So let's make sure we get that underneath those two legs. Sometimes it's easier said than done. There we go. All right, now we're gonna place two are three double crochets. One, two, and three. That will match up with our beginning in. Our beginning and our in will be exactly the same. Remember we started with three double crochets. Your chain three counts as your first double crochet. Then we have the two standalone, five together, two standalone, five together, two standalone, and then three. All right, now we're gonna chain three, one, two, and three, and you're gonna turn your work. We're gonna skip over this first stitch and place another double crochet right next to it. So right next to it. We're not going into the stitch anymore. We're going beside it or between stitches. So now we have our two double crochets, including our chain three. And now we're gonna jump over into the two standalone double crochets and do five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we're gonna skip over one, two, three. And between the third and the fourth stitch, you're gonna place a double crochet. You're gonna skip over your next double crochet and place a double crochet between that stitch and the following stitch, just like we've been doing. And now you're gonna skip one, two, three, and place five double crochets between the third and the fourth stitch there. So five double crochets. three, 
4 and 5. And now you're going to skip 1, 2, 3 and place a double crochet between the 3rd and the 4th stitch. Then you're going to skip 1 and place a double crochet between it and the following stitch. Now you're going to skip 1, 2, and 3 and place five double crochets between the third and the fourth stitch. One, two, three, and four, five. Then you're gonna skip over one, two, three, and place a double crochet between your third and fourth, which would be the last two double crochets on the row below. And then you're gonna place one double crochet in the top of your turning chain, that chain three. Now you're gonna chain one, two, three, and turn your work. So now we're going to be placing two double crochets in between the next two stitches. One and two. That gives you a total of three double crochets to start. We're gonna skip over the next one, two, three, and between the third and the fourth, you will place a double crochet. Skip your next one and place a double crochet between it and the following. You're gonna skip the next three and place five double crochets in between the third and the fourth stitch. These are your repeat rows. They're very, very simple and easy to repeat over and over again. It's four and five. Again, we're gonna skip over one, two, three, and between the third and the fourth, you're gonna place a double crochet. Now we're gonna skip one and between it and the following, stitch, you're going to place another double crochet. Then you're going to skip over one, two, three, and place five double crochets between the third and fourth stitch. It's two, three, four, and five. And then you're gonna skip one, two, three, and between the third and the fourth, you're gonna place a double crochet. You're gonna skip the next stitch, and between it and the following stitch, you're gonna place a double crochet. Then you're gonna skip over one, two, three, and place two double crochets into the next space available between your chain three and that double crochet. So two double crochets. And then you're gonna place one double crochet into the top of your turning chain. One, two, and three. And you're just going to continue to repeat the same rows over and over again. Chain one, two, three, turn your work. 
you're gonna skip over the first stitch and in between the first stitch and the second stitch, you're gonna place a double crochet. Then you're gonna skip all the way over, one, two, three, and between three and four, you're gonna place five double crochets. And you're just gonna continue those repeats over and over and over again until you have it however long or big you would like. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're gonna skip one, two, three, and in between the third and the fourth stitch, I'm gonna place a double crochet. And skip one, place a double crochet between the next two. And skip one, two, three, and between the third and the fourth, place five double crochets. This is semi-lacy, and depending on the yarn that you use, it could be a heavier fabric um, than the worsted weight, or it could be a very light weight if you use something as light as, say, uh, fingering weight, sport weight, sock weight, DK weight, it could be very, very lightweight and drape, have very beautiful drape to it. Um, that's entirely up to you as to what you choose to use in the long run um, when making a pattern. I'm currently working with this stitch and coming up with a pattern. I really love this stitch, and I think that you will enjoy it as well. If you have any questions about this particular uh, stitch pattern, please feel free to comment down below or ask in a email or even over in our Facebook group. All of those links can be found in the description box below. And here we go. All right, I'm gonna stop at that. Just so you can take a look at this particular swatch that I've been working with you. So you can get a look, a look at the overall outcome of where the stitches are. I hope that you have enjoyed this crochet stitch tutorial. Again, this is the thistle stitch. Here's the one that I previously worked up. And as you can see, it's on both sides. They are very similar. All right, everybody, be blessed, be a blessing, and until next time, bye for now.